Good morning there friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we're up on the roof again. Uh, we got a, we're going to do a roofing repair today on an older home that has a very shallow roof, okay? So let's get started. I'm going to show you the problem that we got. We've already got it diagnosed. I'm going to show you how we get it repaired. Okay friends, like I said, this uh, roof here is an older home and it has a very shallow roof. The majority of the roof out here looks, looks to be about a 312 pitch. But in this area right here, this triangular shaped area here, the pitch on this roof is like probably like a 112, okay? And when they shingled this house, um, actually uh, I would have probably had this area done a roll roofing and ran it up probably a couple feet on each side. But what they did, they ran three tab shingles and they overlapped them uh, further, I guess to kind of compensate you know hopes that it would shed water better but actually that just kind of makes things worse because they never get a chance to glue down good and water can blow underneath them so what we're going to do today uh customer is going to hold off on actually doing a whole roof and we're going to do a temporary repair hopefully it'll last one to three years maybe four years or five but uh we're going to put some new boot caps on here because this here's the biggest problem we found the leak to be in the area near this valley okay and they've got vent pipes coming out on this very low pitch roof and when we do the repair later on a couple years down the road we're actually going to relocate both of these up onto this uh, steeper part of the roof because we've got a laundry room underneath this area that i'm standing on and we can actually do some modification and get them moved over but for now we're just going to repair do a temporary repair today so what we're going to do we're going to take some new boots and we're going to cut the flanges off of them and actually tar these old ones up real good and slide the new ones right over top. We're gonna pull up this closed cut valley here. We're gonna clean this area real good and we're gonna tar underneath this closed cut valley on both sides. And we're gonna tar underneath all these tabs here, okay? It's to where the wind can't blow them up anymore. And then we're gonna take some roof sealer and we're gonna cover this whole area, this triangular shaped area with roofing sealer all the way down. And I think that will be a good repair that can last the customer at least a year, maybe up to five years. So we'll show you how we get all this done. Okay, friends, the first thing that we're going to do here today is go ahead and um, put these two new um, vent boots on here. But we're just going to make sure they fit, okay, and they will go around it. But we're not going to lift these shingles up and do all this because this roof actually, you know, it's not really going to shed water that well anyway around them because it's basically a flat roof. So we're going to take these uh, cutters here and go ahead and just cut this flange totally off. We're going to tar this up really nice here and we're actually just going to glue this thing back on, reinstall our pipe, and then we'll make sure we tar really good around the outside here. We're going to do the same thing to both of these boots right here. Here's our other one right here. Let's make sure it fits and yeah it does. So we're going to do it the same way. So we'll get that knocked out and then we'll move on to the next step. Friends, what I'm doing now, I have this fiberglass mesh, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut off a couple pieces here. So when we lay this tar around this thing, we're actually going to force this uh, fiberglass mesh down into the tar, and that'll help provide a little bit of strength for it. We'll actually lay pieces of it all the way around here with the tar before we actually put the little boot on. Okay, friends, we've already started applying a... Uh, a generous layer of tar around this old boot here okay and we're working it out a little bit we're going to go ahead and take some of this mesh that we cut off and we're going to go ahead and lay in a few pieces here and we're going to go ahead and keep working it around and spreading the tar right on top of it and that'll actually give it the mesh will actually give it a little bit of strength we'll lay a few more pieces in here And we'll continue on with this until we get all this built up and uh, sealed up good with this uh, tar and mesh. And then we'll be ready to install the new boot and the pipe. Okay, friends, we got our tar and our mesh applied very generously around this area. And uh, we've got it spread out probably, you know, 20 inches or so. And we've already got our new piece of our boot that we you know cut the flange off of installed onto our pipe we're going to go ahead and drop it down in the hole and then we're going to go back inside and reattach all of this 
If we can get this to slide on through here. Somebody's hard this thing up before several times around the top. We shouldn't have to worry about that anymore. All right, we're going to go on inside and uh, reattach the pipe before we actually slide this down into the tar. And once we slide it down into the tar, of course, we'll take a we'll take a uh, some tar in a tube and just make a nice little bead around the edge of that. Okay, friends, we got our vent pipe put back in place, and we've uh, got the new boot pushed down into our tar, and we had enough of it ooze up. I don't think we really need to go around with the tube tar. We actually are able to just kind of smear this around, and we'll be done with this boot here, and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, friends, we got our other little vent pipe here lathered up with the tar and the mesh, so we're going to go ahead and slide our other little boot on top of here and we'll force that down into the uh, tar and then we'll take our trial here and we'll go ahead and smear this around make a nice uh, tight seam all the way around okay friends now we've got a nice tar bed and fiberglass laid in uh, around both of our vent pipes and we put the new boots and everything on there Next thing we're going to do, we're going to take our tube of tar here and we're going to go all the way up this closed cut valley and we're going to pull these shingles up and we're going to try to go in about an inch and a half or so and run us a bead of tar. We're going to start at the bottom and we'll work our way up to the top on this closed cut valley and then we'll come over here on this side and we'll do the same thing and we'll run us a bead about an inch and a half in all the way up on both sides. Now friends, we got our tar line run underneath our uh, three tabs here on the closed cut valley all the way down on each side. We ran a bead of tar about an inch and a half in on both sides. Now one more thing I'm gonna do, if you look at these shingles here, the person who uh, laid them, uh, they laid them in real tight to where I guess they were hoping that it would act more like a roll roofing instead of you know since it was such a flat roof but the problem with that is when you do that you got nothing holding these tabs down so wind can get underneath here and blow these tabs up easily because on a three tab shingle the tar line is in the middle and it catches the tab and it keeps it from coming up so we're going to actually put a squirt of tar underneath each one of these tabs all the way down through here okay shouldn't take too long but we're just going to get one good squirt of tar underneath each tab one by one and uh, we'll do that right quick and then we'll let this set up a little bit and we'll be ready to uh, go ahead and install a roof coating a rubberized roof coating that does have some fiber in it so stay tuned for that okay friends we're getting ready to put down our rubber roof coating right now and today we'll be using a uh, blackjack brand rubber coat number 57 it says it's commercial grade and it's rubberized and it has some fiber in it and we've got ourselves a, a paint roller here with about a three quarter inch nap roller on it so we're going to go ahead and dip it down into our material here and we're going to start up at the top so we're going to dip it on in here and we'll just put a generous coat on this thing and really try to work it in real good for our first coat and we'll go ahead and do that it's kind of hard to do that with just one hand here but uh we're gonna start up here near the top and we're just gonna start rolling ourselves on a nice coat of this uh rooftop here okay now up here on the uh sides of the valley uh, i'm probably going to come up onto this roof probably you know three inches or so and uh, try to make a nice little line down through here because I'm gonna go ahead and try to coat that too to where it might as well seal up that closed cut valley so we're gonna go ahead and start rolling here and uh, we'll get one coat on here and maybe try to get two on today and we'll probably come back tomorrow and maybe put one more coat on so let me get busy okay friends we got one coat applied here to the uh, area down here on the flat roof and we brought it on down here and we went ahead and brought it down our valley all the way to the gutter and uh, this house has such a low pitch roof uh, from the ground 
you can't even see it anyway so it shouldn't no one really ever notice but i thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and bring the coating on down the valley too just for a little extra security and promote a little bit better water flow so we're getting ready to put another coat on this thing and we'll see what it looks like after that okay friends we got two coats on this thing now and it's looking pretty good i think we're going to go ahead and call it a day um, so i hope you enjoyed our little uh, temporary repair that we've done to this roof here and um, we'll probably come back here tomorrow and uh, check it again. We may actually put another coat on it tomorrow. We're gonna go and let this cure out today. But uh, this is a little repair. It's gonna save the customer some money right now until he uh, is ready to do uh, a complete roofing job. And at that time, you know, we'll go ahead and relocate these, uh, the vent pipe and the gas pipe uh, onto the uh, steeper roof. You know, we got some room down there in the laundry room and a wall to work with. We can actually relocate some pipes and we'll do a little bit better job when we do the uh, um, actual tear off and replacement. We'll actually lay roll roofing down here in this uh, real flat area and run the roll roofing you know, up the other valleys probably a couple foot and then we'll go ahead and uh, do closed cut valleys all the way down through here. And of course, we'll, these will not be on this flat area anymore. They'll be up here on this roof. So folks, I hope you enjoyed the little video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and tell a friend about us and check out MintHillBillyStore.com for some cool stuff that we have for sale there. Thank you very much, friends. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.